Hey guys, so today for science we're going to learn about parts of a plant. Um, I have a diagram of a plant right here that I drew and we are going to go over the, um, the five main parts of this flower. So the first part that we're going to look at is the seeds. Seeds are found in the middle of the flower and they help a flower reproduce. When you see the word reproduce that just means that they make um, new little baby flowers. Now the really pretty part of the flower is the flower and the petals and this makes seeds to continue the life cycle. So the seeds are stored right here, but it's the flower that actually makes them and they go to the middle. The next part we're gonna look at is this long green part that goes all the way down to the ground. This is called the stem. The stem helps the plant stand tall and it carries water, mineral, and food throughout the plant. So if you think about it, the stem carries the water, the minerals, the food, up here so that this flower can make the seed so that it can have little baby flowers. Um, the next one is the leaf. The leaf soaks up light to make food for the plant. So as the sun shines down, the leaf is responsible for soaking up that light. All plants need light to make food. And one of the most important parts of the plant is called the root. It soaks up water and nutrients from the ground and it anchors the plant to the ground. So that means because of the root, the plant can stand tall. And because of the root, when you water your plant, it takes that water and then it distributes it up the stem. The leaf helps by adding in some nutrients from the sun. And then that stem once again takes it up to the flower so it can concentrate on making seeds so that it can make little baby flowers. So your assignment is that you have to find a plant and you have to label it. Um, so I have picked a cute little, it's actually a weed from my garden, but it's got little flowers. You see the little yellow flowers? Um, I don't mind picking this out of my garden because they'll kind of take over and I would want to get rid of it anyway. Um, if you pick something out of your yard, make sure that it's something your parents are okay with you picking, like a weed or like maybe a piece of grass. Or if you do pick a flower, you could go back and replant it. So we're going to label this. So I'm going to start down at the bottom. Right down here is where I pulled it up from the ground. And if you look closely, oh, here's a great example. If you look closely, this is the plant's root. This is what anchored it to the ground and soaked up all the water and nutrients from the ground. So I'm gonna label it a root. And when you pull the roots up from a plant, that means that the plant won't grow there anymore unless you put it back in and plant it again. So next, I'm gonna look at oh, how pretty, what a pretty pattern that makes. This is the leaf. So this is what would soak up that sunlight and help make food for the plant. So I'm gonna label it leaf. And then I'm gonna go right up here, I'm gonna go to the tallest part. And these little things, they look almost like vines, but these are the stems of the flower. So it's a stem. And then as I go up, I'm gonna look at this yellow flower right here. It's a little bit hard because they're not all the way open, but this yellow part, this would be the flower and the petals. So I'm just gonna do a little arrow and I'm gonna put flower. Oh, and I have a cool bug that's come to see me with my plant. That's always a danger of picking a plant, but it's okay. But then inside the flower is where I would find the seeds. So what that means is that when this flower would open up, it would release those seeds and those seeds scatter all over. And then a whole bunch of these little plants like this that would be babies <coughs> would start growing. This is why a lot of times if your parents pick weeds in the garden, they tell you to be sure to get the roots so that the plant doesn't come back because weeds, we just don't want them in our garden. So um, I hope you guys have fun labeling your plant from your yard. I can't wait to see your creative, wonderful works of art that you um, take pictures of and send. And I hope you guys have fun doing it.